In this video, I will show you how to easily connect AWS EC2 instance using SSH application on your mobile phone. The first step is to sign into your AWS, by the way, AWS means Amazon Web Services. In case you don't have account, you can create one, then create EC2 instance. If you don't know how to create an EC2 instance, I have included video link on how to do that in the description box below. Alright, now log into your AWS account. I have included link to log in directly to EC2 instance in the description box below. Now after you have logged in, you will land on EC2 connect page. From this page, on the left bottom corner, note the public IPS everyone has his, it is used when logging in SSH as the host name. So write it somewhere because it is necessary. After the establishment of the EC2 instance is completed, you will have a page that looks like this. From here, write the following command to set password for your SSH application. The command is, sudo password ubuntu, make sure you write it exactly as shown to avoid errors. Then hit enter. On the next line, type your password. As you type your password, it will not be visible on the screen. It will be written though in layman language, we can say behind the screen. After you have written it, hit enter and retype your password again. As you write remember it will not be visible to your eyes, so do not worry about that. After you are done hit enter. Your password will be successfully updated as shown. The next step is to write the following command. sudo nano leave space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd slash underscore config you will be directed to this console as shown here, use the down arrow key on your keyboard to scroll down. Scroll down till you find password authentication. By default, the password authentication is set to no. Use the left arrow key and move to no, then make sure you edit it to yes. Note that, this is a vital step since if you don't edit it to yes, you will not be able to log in SSH application. The main reason it is necessary to connect to SSH application is that, SSH application opens the EC2 instance quick fast, and no desktop is required. That means when you have connected your EC2 instance to SSH, you will not necessarily need a desktop for connection to your AWS applications. after you have edited password authentication to yes. Now on your keyboard click Ctrl key plus O then enter to save the commands and then click on Ctrl key plus X to go back to the EC2 instance page. Then, the last command, write. sudo service sshd restart. All the commands I have used in this video, I have included them in the description box below. Check them out. After you have restarted, the next step is to connect to phone using ssh app. So now open your phone. Depending on which phone you are using, find, download and install Juice SSH application. If you are using Android phone, go to Play Store, if you are using Apple phone, go to App Store, and if using Huawei phone, go to App Gallery, and install that Juice SSH application. In my case I'm using Huawei phone. 
Search for that application, in my case I have already downloaded it. So when you have installed the app on your phone, open it. On the home page of Juice SSH application, the first item is the Quick Connect option. Since we want to connect to the AWS EC2 instance, click on the Quick Connect option. From here, enter your username and host name. Username is Ubuntu, and the host name is the public IPS. Remember the one that I said you write down, which was located at the left bottom of the EC2 instance page. Check it out and fill it here. So, typically start with Ubuntu, then followed at sign, then your public IPS. After writing it, click OK. If it is the first time to use Juice SSH application, a pop-up of host verification will appear. Click on Accept. You will be redirected to enter your password. Password is the one we created in the EC2 instance. Then click OK. It will start connecting to the AWS EC2 instance. When connection is completed some basic tutorial of how to use controls tool will appear on the screen. You can study them. They are just basic paste and copy stuffs. When you have learned them, click on OK. Now this is the SSH app main page, where you can install or launch any app directly, without having to use AWS EC2 instance on a desktop or PC. Remember, SSH application is fast to launch, quick to open and extremely fast in opening AWS applications on phone. For example if you have a WhatsApp robot, you can easily launch it from SSH app, instead of going to AWS. Basically, just type CT WhatsApp bot MD. Then hit enter, in this case since it is a phone, enter key is the arrow key found on the right bottom corner, mostly used as send button. Thereafter, write npm start. Now, QR code will appear where you can scan and link to your WhatsApp, and start enjoying WhatsApp robot features. In case you want to learn how to make the WhatsApp robot. I have included the full video tutorial of that in the description box below. Watch it out. That is it, if you enjoyed the video and you did learn something, hit that like button. Otherwise I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.